Okay, this is an unboxing or unbagging of a Fossil OBD2 connector. And then we're going to go ahead and install it on a 2009 GMC Sierra. Okay, it just came in this little this little box and uh, all right, let's pull it out. Okay, it comes with a detailed one-page manual, and this is it. Now let's uh, go ahead and stick it on the on the truck. Okay, uh, it's kind of hard to find the uh, point where you stick it on the truck. Let's see if it'll. Well, next thing you know, it's installed. That was easy enough. Okay, now we'll connect the device to the telephone. We'll do this by getting into the settings, and then we'll go to uh, connect devices, Bluetooth, pair a new device. OBD2, and we'll type in a pin. Okay, we're connected up. Now we'll boot into dash command. Okay, now we got a dash cam, cam up. One of the first things that you're going to want to do is if it's not connected, you're going to have to set it up where you can actually connect to that Bluetooth adapter. So to do that, we're going to go into settings and then uh, we'll go down here. I'm not actually driving. We'll go down here to the OBD2 interface type. Make sure that you've got Elm checked off. And then uh, once you check off that, and you might have to go back and check to see whether you've got, you've got the Bluetooth connection. Again, maybe reset that Bluetooth con connection or whatever. But uh, it, should, it should say connected or hit the connected button, that button right there in the center of the screen. All right, now one of the things, we've got the default... Uh, dashboard on there and we're going to go through that we'll click on it over here with a steering wheel and as you look we're going down the road we're doing about 19 miles an hour and we got different information here we've got the acceleration power torque let's click over here to this we're going to do let's look at the shift points we uh, shifted to second gear third gear it's show showing the shift points now how I got it to do that, we need to talk about that real quick. How I got it to do that is you gotta, after you've got all this set up, you've gotta set up your vehicle information. I've got a 2009 GMC Sierra with a 5.3 liter V8. And we'll click on that and we'll uh, go here to the advanced settings to get the transmission stuff to work. You're gonna have to put the fuel capacity, some of this other stuff. What I did was I just got out on the internet and it was pretty easy to find. I got the tire size right off the side of the truck here. But the uh, gear final drive gear ratios was out on the internet. The uh, curb weight was out on the internet and uh, then the gross vehicle weight is actually in the door. The drag coefficient is out on the internet. The rev limits, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's about 5,800 RPMs, but I don't know for sure. But the the, I, I just guesstimated the uh, the low end on the idle from just seeing this thing at 600 and then uh, I looked up the ship point is 1800 RPMs and I believe that's pretty accurate because I've, I've noticed that every time when the transmission does a shift it I can feel it shift so I think I got the 1800 RPM is about right. Alright, let's go back here to the back. So we set up your connection, plug the device in, set up your connection, push the connect button. Now we'll go back over here to dashboards. This is a lot of information. And the way that I look at it is you're probably not going to, you're probably going to be using your phone for navigation and then uh, this 
if you connect it to like what I've got is I've got a Fire HD connect through the tethering it'll uh, give you the GPS information and it functions and you got a bigger screen but this is a lot of information to look at and you can mount it where you can see it pretty good there's a uh, fuel economy it does a great job of calculating all your fuel economy and all this other kind of stuff second you got a tabular data here to basically just if you don't like the graphs or whatever that's another thing in engine parameters it has actually you know what your intake and I guess this is your timing your coolant temperature kind of like that that shift thing and I think it was a it was well worth the effort to set up the transmission stuff but one of the first things you're going to want to do when you get this is go in and put a skin that's applicable to your the vehicle that you're in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back here and the way you change out the skin to get a dashboard that's specific to your vehicle is hit click on the settings. Go down here to uh, select dashboard and then it has an option up here on the top it says download dashboards now you can down it has all different kinds of vehicles if you're in a Ford F-150 uh, it has four or five Ford F-150 skins or anything like that so and you just basically we're gonna do this crayon and we're gonna do download install so that's basically all you do is once you've got it it's installed now. I'm gonna delete that because I don't I've tried it, I didn't really like it. Now let's swap out the skin on this on the thing and get a different dashboard. Let's go with the Chevrolet real quick and we'll see what that looks like. Because someone designed this specifically for a Chevrolet, they realized that the information put out through that diagnostic port put out a little extra information and it's compiled on this screen so since I downloaded a a very specific dashboard for the truck vehicle that I'm driving I actually get even more information but it's a little bit complicated you got to look at it and kind of learn where everything is before you start driving and then if you uh, want to drive and so you can make sure that you're make sure everything's okay you can pick this thing up and you know exactly where to look real quickly so you can get your eyes back on the road but uh, then it has similar to the uh, to the other dashboard it has that and it's got uh, fuel economy it's got it's, it's similar to the other one but it's a uh, it's a little different back to the shift points now, this, as you know, it had, had a bunch of different windows. There is a dashboard that doesn't have all these windows. It's specifically, it's kind of an old school design specifically for GM trucks. And let's change out for that dashboard real quick. We're gonna select this and we'll, it's that GM truck 800. I've got the GM truck 900. And it's a GMC, not a Chevy, but click on that and we'll go take a look at that and when you're looking at this this essentially has pretty much everything that you need when you're towing or hauling or doing anything with the truck so this is actually a pretty good thing to have and uh, it might have some information that you're your normal dashboard doesn't have and it's uh, it's actually a good skin but as you'll see it only has one particular one window all right one of the other cool things about dash command is it has these gauges now let's click on the gauges real quick I have spent absolutely zero time 
customizing these gauges. So this is basically out of the box, how the gauges look. And uh, they wanted me to edit, and we got, you just slide them over. And uh, it's a pretty good set of gauges. I don't know, I think, as far as I, I'm concerned, I actually think that the, uh, the truck dashboard was actually presented information where I could actually read it quickly and uh, you got to think this thing you might be moving down the road so you're gonna need to look at it and find out what's going in if anything's going on with your truck and you need to find that information out quickly or and then get back to your paying attention to the road the other section on this dash command is the performance I'm gonna click on performance real quick and as you see, we've got a, uh, we're accelerating, we're up to 60 horsepower. It's got a couple things. I'm not sure why the, I don't think the, the uh, ship points are working. I don't see, I don't know. I, I just don't see any use for this. This is uh, basically telling you how fast you were from zero to 60, how fast you were at 330 feet or whatever. I have absolutely no use for this thing, but uh, if you're into that, just uh, don't get caught by the police. Uh, the data grid, this is where you can log information from a trip, which is kind of actually kind of cool. And uh, you can save, like if you're going to a particular thing and you had you were towing something, you want to know, well, you know, what kind of fuel economy, what did it actually cost you to tow that? Can actually uh, record all this information over here. Diagnostics is going to be one of the other useful things that you can do with this with this particular application. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the diagnostic, and then we're going to click on read codes. As you see, I've got it scanned all the codes in my computer, my ECU, and it came up with, hey, everything is running fine on the truck. I keep it pretty well maintained. You can actually clear codes on this thing to see if it fires off a code again and if it does you might want to look it up on the internet and find out what you need to get fixed. It's a pretty good idea. But as far as I'm concerned I looked at Torque Pro and uh, I, I, I somewhat liked it but I actually think Dash Command is a little bit better application it has a lot more features I don't there's some things that I don't like about it it doesn't have a map where you can map your your save your trip and something like that the other thing that I don't like about it is it would be nice if you could have this integrated into a dash cam so if your dash cam or you got in an accident you could actually see map where you were on the road you know what your throttle position was how hard you had to brake and you know combine all this information with it but there's an act there's an actual another uh, application that will do that but uh, we'll get I may do a review on that later but I just wanted to show you guys exactly what this thing will do and why I think it's useful and hopefully you spent I spent $13 to uh, buy the little hardware device that goes into your onboard diagnostic port and then another five bucks for the application and then I bought some other stuff that probably cost another five bucks but you know this that's a really inexpensive way to get all this vehicle information and I actually spent I went took this truck to the GMC dealer and they charged me a hundred dollars to hook it to a computer a <laughs> hundred dollars and uh, this thing actually does the same thing so I don't know I well worth the investment buy that buy it off of Amazon get it and do it thanks for watching and if you like it push the like button